Hey there guys, how are you all doing? I'm Rahul and welcome to my new series, The Editor. Now in this series, I'm going to be going over different editing programs and looking at how to do different kind of editing techniques within them. Today we're starting off with something really easy, motion tracking within After Effects. Now the reason I love motion tracking is that it is pretty much the easiest thing to do within the After Effects that gives great um, outcomes when you look at it on your videos. It just adds something new to your videos and I just think it looks really cool. So in a way to start off, what you want to do is once you're in after effects you just want to click the composition button and um, start up a new composition here this is pretty self-explanatory you can just change the name the dimensions the frame rate and also the duration don't worry about uh, any of this though you just keep it as your normal video is the duration is something that you'll probably be changing later on but it's okay because you can actually change these settings later on um, throughout when you're making your composition so um, we'll just click OK and we'll have our composition here now you want to have your on your project you want to drag in the video which you're going to be doing the tracking onto for me i've got some counter strike um cinematic i just randomly recorded earlier you can actually track anything so it doesn't really matter just make sure that the video you are tracking will have trackable points so um something unique or this thing within the video you'll be able to track so if you're looking at it yourself you'll think that oh yeah obviously that would be tracked don't be sh uh, putting in a video that's really shaky not that good quality because I'm um, tracking stuff like that it might work but it's quite likely that it won't so anyway let's just drag our video in and um, as we can see we've got a longish video if we scrub across it we can see we are moving about a bit and we've got two kind of cinematics in one um, if we were to try and track all of this right now um, without um, cutting it down it might work but it might be a bit glitchy as well because I'm um, tracking you normally be meant to be doing it over just one um, kind of pan of an area you don't want to be doing it over one pan then switching to another area and moving across that because um, it can mess up with the points but um, that, that is no need to worry we can actually just um, scrub to the area where we want to be tracking so we can either track going across this long area or looking towards these double doors I think I want to do the double doors one because it's a little bit better in my opinion oh that's just my opinion I think probably Probably most people will probably prefer the long one so I guess we can start the track maybe here because we want to um, keep it short for time purposes and then you just want to come to the start of your clip drag it in and um, make sure it's at the start of where you want it to track so here we'll track all the way until here I think that's good enough and we can drag the end of the clip down and I'm here so we're only looking at this one point to track and if we go off it it's not the videos that's not there so we can drag this to the start of our composition at zero seconds and we can drag the um, part we all render all the way down as well so we're only looking at this part when we do like RAM previews and actually render it so this is all looking good we can maybe drag this in a little bit more if you're a perfectionist then you can spend a lot of time making sure you're getting the exact right um, area to track but for right now this is quite easy um, well, this is quite good it looks like we're going to get some track points on this on this maybe these at the top it's basically the color contrast um, where the contrast are the most that will be easy points to track and um, from this you can tell that tracking is going to be quite easy on this clip so to start off when you do want to track you want to click the effect button and then go down onto perspective and click the 3d camera tracker now once you have done this it'll start analyzing the background and initializing you would have seen it there and then here we we can see it's going through the frames and the percentage is going up now this depends um, on many factors um one of them is your PC, how good it is, like to do with your CPU and stuff. The better it is, the quicker it will go. Um, the other factors, which I guess have more of a performance here, are the, the, the dimensions of your video. So if you're doing a 1080p one compared to a 720p one, 1080p will take longer because there's um, more pixels to kind of look over and track. And also the frame rate, that, that will affect it because um, with more, a higher frame rate, there's more frames. And also the actual length of the, um, of the clip you're trying to track as well because, uh, again, there's going to be more frames, so it'll take longer to track so firstly what it'll do is analyze the background step one or two and then it'll solve the camera so um we'll come back when it once it's done that you just have to wait for this to finish and um, once it has finished we'll come back and carry on with the tutorial Okay, so now you'll see that we ha are back and um, on your video you'll see loads of these kind of crosses. Um, they look like hit markers from Call of Duty, I think some people will probably um, see this. But um, if we scrub across the video, you see that some of them change and um, some of them stay so we can see that they're always moving. And these are basically just the points on your video which are able to be tracked. So um, as you can see, we've got on the wall, like I said, there'll be track points here. So we can just pick, I don't know, this one seems quite good. And um, you just want to click it and it'll pick three points 
points make a triangle and then a circle and you can see whether it is kind of tracking the right area because the circle is kind of fixed to the wall so once you have clicked and you've got your circle and um, you want to right click the circle and you'll get these options and um for the for just now we'll create some text so um the first option you want to click it create text and camera and i'm here we've got some text so let's just change this to uh i don't know let's make it the editor episode one so we'll make it the editor ep1 and um here we can see it does go off the um off the off the uh wall a little bit so we can just um press enter Ooh, that's <laughs> that hasn't gone to plan so um we can just uh slow make this little gap a little bit less and um you can also just change the other things within your text so again it's still off the wall a little bit so we can change the size of the text down a wee bit so that's good at the moment and um, again we can move this text up so it's up and close and um there you can also change like the color the font all that stuff's all right and um it, again if you want to um even even change like the angle and stuff off your text you just want to open the little editor at the bottom of your um text click transform and um here we've got the different orientations so we can like swivel it around that way or we can um uh, turn it around that way so say the wall was a little bit more angled and it didn't track it it isn't on the wall properly we can turn it and um x rotation that's like that and then we've also got the coordinates so we can move it push it out of the wall a little bit if we wanted to and um all that stuff but at the moment it has seemed to have done it quite well so um we if we scrub across it it does seem to be tracking quite well and it is sticking to the wall so that is pretty cool and it does give quite a nice effect and um yeah that is about it for um tracking and that, that is how you make your really cool tracks if there was for instance um something which was coming across the text and but then it was still tracking through it so say this wall was a little bit higher um the text would be over this wall but to fix that you just want to um duplicate the light and um, create a mask over it I'll go on to something like that um, later in depth in, the, in a later video but this is just a beginner's tutorial for tracking so um, once you have done that you can render it just um, hold control and press M and you'll come into your render queue and um, you can choose where to output it to and click render and then that is it and um, you have pretty much done your tracking so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial might have been a longer one but um i'm hoping to increase my knowledge within editing and then check showcase it to you guys keep the um tutorial shorter and get them more concise and precise and um hopefully just give you my you guys my knowledge anyway guys i've been hopefully you have enjoyed the video catch you in the next one